so that is graphical representation of velocity displacement and acceleration in shm i hope you must be remembering the equations of shm y is equal to r sin omega t v equal to r omega cos omega t and a is equal to minus r omega square sin omega t so these were three expressions for uh, displacement velocity and acceleration in shm these were our three expressions okay right now let us plot the value let let us plot the graphs now so y here t here zero let us divide it into different intervals t by 4 t by 2 3 t by 4 and t let us divide into equal time intervals let's divide a time period t into five equal parts each of t by 4 so aapke intervals kya banenge 0 t by 4 2 t by 4 3 t by 4 4 t by 4 theek hai to 2 t by 4 will be t by 2 after cancellation 4t by 4 will be 1t after cancellation so we have divided whole time period into five equal parts each of interval t by 4 so this is how we will be plotting the graph first of all let us plot y equal to r sin omega let's plot the graph for displacement in s t put t equal to 0 first then let us see what is y y is r sin put t 0 here sin 0 degree sin 0 is 0 so for t equal to 0 we have seen that displacement is also 0 so we mark a point here okay we mark our first point corresponding to t 0 y is also coming out to be 0 then for t equal to t by 4 y equal to r sin omega omega is 2 pi by t let us substitute and small t is equal to t by 4 so this is r sin pi by 2 or r sin 90 degree pi by 2 means 90 degree which is 1 sin 90 kya hota hai 1 so y is equal to r at t equal to t by 4 so we mark a point here suppose this is r so we mark second point corresponding to t equal to t by 4 Have a look at this. कैसे हमने सॉल्व किया? We have put small t equal to capital T by four, and we have substituted omega equal to two pi by t, like that. Same way we will go on finding values for each and every interval now. So let us put the third one. Put y. Put t equal to three t by four now. So y will be r sine. omega omega is 2 pi by t and t is 3 t by 4 so we get r sin 3 pi by 2 okay r sin 3 pi by 2 ek minute beech mein t by 2 hi miss ho gaya t by 2 tha t by 4 ke baad t by 2 so we get r sin pi sin pi kya hota hai sin n pi is zero theek hai sin n pi zero hota hai so this is also zero so third point is again at zero we mark three points then we put y equal to t by 4 y equal to r sin 2 pi by t into 3t by 4 so this is r sin 3 pi by 2 this is sin 270 degree sin 270 is minus 1 so we get minus r so our next point is somewhere here where y is equal to minus r y equal to minus r here
ओके वाई इक्वल टू माइनस आर हेयर ना लास्ट पॉइंट पुट वाई इक्वल टू टी ना टी इक्वल टू टी ना वाई इक्वल टू आर साइन टू पाई बाय टी इन टू टी सो वाई इज इक्वल टू आर साइन टू पाई आई टोल्ड यू ऑल द मल्टीपल्स ऑफ साइन एन पाई साइन एन पाई इज जीरो सो वाई इज जीरो अगेन सो वी गेट द लास्ट पॉइंट अगेन हेयर सो हैव अ लुक एट ऑल दीज कैलकुलेशन how we have found the points corresponding to different time intervals if any point is not clear you can ask you can ask if any point is not clear to you now let us join these points so we will get displacement curve in shm and yes this is a sine curve so as suggested by the equation y is equal to r sin omega t yes it's a sine curve whose amplitude is r whose amplitude is r theek okay? hai so this is graphical representation of displacement in ssm this is graphical representation of displacement in ssm okay next is velocity representation now let's uh, represent velocity in the same way we just need to know its equation in the same way we will plot now velocity in a certain so velocity versus time again corresponding to these three intervals these five intervals so we have v is equal to r omega cos omega t put t equal to 0 put t equal to t by 4 put t equal to t by 2 3 t by 4 and t equal to t and find corresponding values of velocity in the same way as we did just now for shm uh, displacement so put t equal to 0 here v equal to r omega cos 0 cos 0 is 1 so v is r omega okay so we saw that for t equal to 0 velocity is not 0 it is having some value r omega so we mark a point here corresponding to t 0 we have some definite value of velocity it's not 0 then go on doing it for other values also r omega cos put omega 2 pi by t and t by 4 cos 90 is zero so second point is zero corresponding to this our velocity is zero so go on finding chaliye kariye find i give you 5 minutes to complete this hurry up and tell me what is the shape of the graph yes all of you do it tell me what is the shape of graph Yes, anyone who has completed, now check your values. For t equal to t by two, r omega cos two pi by t into t by two cos pi. Cos pi is minus one. Cos one eighty is minus one. I tell you in a note, कर लीजिए sine n pi is zero. sin n pi zero hota hai where n is zero one two three so on but cos n pi is plus minus one alternately we have pehle n zero put karenge plus one n one put karenge it will be minus one theek hai 
सो ऑल्टरनेटिंग एन टू पुट करेंगे प्लस वन एन थ्री पुट करेंगे माइनस वन लाइक दैट सो कॉज एन पाई इज प्लस माइनस वन ऑल्टरनेटिंग तो अगर हमारा कॉज जीरो वन था तो कॉज पाई माइनस वन होगा ठीक है सो दिस इज माइनस आर ओमेगा वी वी मार्क अ पॉइंट हियर देन कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग टू ये यहां पे कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग टू थ्री टी बाई फोर cos 3 pi by 2 means cos 120 degree uh 270 degree so that is again zero odd multiples of pi by 2 are all zero theek okay? hai so again we get a zero point here then last point b is r omega cos 2 pi by t into t now what is cos 2 pi नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट मल्टीपल दिस इज कॉज जीरो वॉज वन कॉज पाई वॉज माइनस वन कॉज टू पाई विल बी प्लस वन सो ऑल्टरनेटली दिस इज गोइंग दिस इज प्लस वन सो वी हैव प्लस आर ओमेगा हियर वी मार्क अ पॉइंट हियर प्लस आर ओमेगा यहाँ पे सो ज्वाइन ऑल दीज पॉइंट वी गेट साइन को so yes velocity equation was cosine equation cos omega t it was involving and yes this is the shape of a typical cosine curve this is graphical representation of velocity in shm so see if any doubt is there see if you have any doubts you can raise your hand and ask the doubt is that clear okay third is acceleration representation now now let us uh, represent acceleration graph also plot acceleration graph also in the same way so equation of s acceleration is minus r omega square sin omega t so again we will do it for t equal to 0 t by 4 t by 2 3 t by 4 and t okay so plot acceleration time graph now again for the same intervals again for the same interval so start doing it put all the values and find the values of acceleration go on marking the point join those points you will get acceleration graph yes do it now hurry up start doing it i am also doing here go on telling it so these are the values these are all the values so t equal to 0 a is 0 t equal to t by 4 a is minus r omega square t equal to t by 2 a is 0 again t equal to 3 t by 4 a is plus r omega square 
and 40 equal to T acceleration is again zero. So it is zero at this, this, and this interval and uh, minus r omega square here plus r omega square here. And when we join these points, we get inverted sine curve. When we join these points, we get an inverted sine curve. We get an inverted sine curve. And also this is minus sine omega t. So yes, this is sine curve, but in the negative direction. So you can see this is the shape of sine curve and this is minus sine curve. Okay. It is also sine curve, but with a negative one. So it is just opposite. It is flipped in the opposite direction. It is just flipped in the opposite direction. So this is the graphical representation of displacement, velocity and acceleration in SSS. Is that okay now, students? Koi doubt yaha tak uch sakte ho? So after oscillations is over, our next part, next chapter of this unit will be waves. Okay? So waves and oscillations, mein oscillations part we have done. Now waves is here. So let us start with waves part now, right? Heading there is a wave. So we have already studied about what is periodic motion, what is oscillatory motion. Now what is wave motion? We come to the next thing, wave or also called wave motion. Wave or wave motion it is. So what is wave? For example, uh, we, there is a still pond of water. We throw a small pebble in the pond of water on the still surface. What will happen? You will see ripples of water around. Okay, bahut sari. कुछ डिस्टेंस तक आपको रिपल्स दिखेंगी और जहां आपने पेबल फेंका था वहां से वाटर वाटर पार्टिकल्स अप और डाउन जाते हुए दिखाई देंगे ठीक है सो दिस इज अ पीरियोडिक डिस्टरबेंस सेटअप इन अ मीडियम व्हाट इज अ वेव इट्स अ पीरियोडिक डिस्टरबेंस सेटअप इन अ मीडियम इन व्हिच एनर्जी इज ट्रांसफर्ड फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू अनदर प्लेस ओके द पार्टिकल्स आर नॉट एक्चुअली मूविंग फ्रॉम देयर a place, but they are just handing over the energy from on and on, from one particle to another particle on and on. Okay, so what happens actually? What happens here? When we throw the pebble here, it, it was moving, it has kinetic energy. Okay, it transfers this kinetic energy to the water particles where it hits the water surface. Waan pe jo water particles hai, ye unko energy transfer kar dega. Theek hai? With that energy, water particles, they will start oscillating up and down. So, wo oscillate karna start karna. Unka amplitude of oscillation maximum hoga. With their movement, their neighboring water particles will also get disturbed. They will also start some, start oscillating. So, the previous particles, they will give some energy to them. And with that energy, neighboring particles will also start oscillating about their mean positions, but with slightly smaller amplitude. Now with their movement, their neighboring particles will be disturbed. So they hand over some energy to, to their neighboring particles also. The neighboring particles also start moving up and down, but with a still smaller amplitude. So this way, 
energy is carried forward from one place to another place up to certain distance so and uh, no doubt it's periodic motion because the water molecules they are oscillating up and down uh, after regular intervals of time so this is periodic disturbance set up in a medium same way when i am speaking okay i am disturbing air layers i am disturbing air medium so the air molecules they are oscillating but not up and down in this case they are oscillating back and forth so they are uh, handing over the energy to next and next particles and this way my sound is propagating up to certain distance okay it is disturbing air medium and in the previous case by throwing that pebble we had disturbed water medium so let us now define wave motion or wave ho theek hai it's a periodic disturbance set up in a medium likhe definition what is a wave or wave motion it's periodic disturbance set up in a medium wave motion is periodic disturbance set up in a medium set up in a medium in which energy is transferred in which energy is transferred from one place to another place in which energy is transferred from one place to another place theek hai bas itna hi bahut hai in which energy is transferred from one place to another place so this disturbance is called wave motion and it is no doubt periodic motion so that's why we mentioned the word periodic right now the types of waves you are already aware of and one point more regarding that uh, matter is not transferred only energy is transferred as i told you that water particles they will remain at their place only they will oscillate up and down at their mean position only they won't move for, forward they will just hand over the energy okay so matter is not transferred only energy is propagated from one point to another point always remember इन नाइन्थ क्लास आपका साउंड का चैप्टर आई डोंट नो आपने किया है कि नहीं किया उसमें हमने यही प्रूव किया था कि सपोज देर इज अटिल पॉइंट ऑफ वाटर राइट एंड यू कीप अ पेपर बोट ओवर इट नाउ फ्रॉम एट सम डिस्टेंस यू प्रोड्यूस रिपल्स बाय चर्निंग द वाटर बाय स्टरिंग द वाटर ठीक है प्रोड्यूस रिपल्स इन दैट पॉन्ड और इन दैट बकेट और टब वट एवर यू हैव टेकन देन द बोट विल स्टार्ट मूविंग अप एंड डाउन बट वो आगे मूव नहीं करेगी वो चल थोड़ी ना पड़ेगी सो दिस शोज दैट ड्यूरिंग वेव प्रोपेशन ओनली एनर्जी इज ट्रांसफर्ड फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू अनदर प्लेस मैटर इज नॉट ट्रांसफर मैटर ट्रांसफर नहीं होता है आपने देखा होगा रेनी सीजन में सम स्मॉल चिल्ड्रन दे ट्राई टू रन दो पेपर बोट दे गो ऑन पुशिंग द बोट बट द बोट आर नॉट मूविंग फॉरवर्ड ठीक है तो वो ऐसे चल थोड़ी ना पड़ेंगी राइट right? तो इसका मतलब मैटर ट्रांसफर नहीं होता है सिर्फ एनर्जी ट्रांसफर होती है ओके सो डेफिनेशन इज क्लियर नाउ द टाइप्स ऑफ वेव्स देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ क्लासिफिकेशन अकॉर्डिंग टू वन क्लासिफिकेशन देर आर इलास्टिक एंड इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक वेव्स इलास्टिक वेव्स एंड इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक वेव्स एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू अनदर क्लासिफिकेशन there are transverse and longitudinal waves there are transverse and longitudinal waves so elastic and electromagnetic transverse and longitudinal waves are there okay is that clear Now, what are elastic and electromagnetic waves? Waves के example पहले लिख लीजिए बहुत सारी waves आपको पता है radio waves, micro waves, infrared rays, वो भी waves ही है ultraviolet, right? उसके बाद x rays, gamma rays, ये कितनी सारी sound waves, water waves, light waves, all these are examples of waves. So we classify them into different categories. So first classification is elastic and electromagnetic waves. 
Elastic waves are those waves that need a material medium to travel through. They can't pass through vacuum. ठीक है बिना मीडियम के चल ही नहीं सकते कैन यू गिव एनी एग्जाम्पल ऑफ इलास्टिक वेव कोई ऐसी वेव जो विदाउट मीडियम पॉसिबल नहीं है हैव यू सीन इन योर सराउंडिंग्स ये स्टूडेंट्स हैव यू सीन एनी काइंड ऑफ वेव दैट नीड्स अ मीडियम टू ट्रेवल थ्रू ये स्टूडेंट्स कैन यू गिव एनी एग्जाम्पल यस ये आपने पढ़ा होगा शो शो दैट साउंड नीड्स अ मीडियम टू ट्रेवल थ्रू ठीक है तो एग्जाम्पल लिख लीजिए साउंड वेव इसमें इलास्टिक वेव में फर्स्ट राइट द डेफिनेट सो वट आर इलास्टिक वेव दीज आर द वेव दैट नीड अ मटीरियल मीडियम टू ट्रेवल थ्रू वेव दैट नीड अ मटीरियल मीडियम टू ट्रेवल थ्रू दे कैन नॉट पास थ्रू वैक्यूम दे कैन नॉट पास थ्रू वैक्यूम एग्जाम्पल साउंड वेवस एन अदर एग्जाम्पल साउंड वेव जो है दे कैन पास थ्रू ऑल द थ्री मीडियम सॉलिड लिक्विड गैस ठीक है बट यू कैन हैव एन अदर एग्जाम्पल वॉटर वेव बिना वॉटर के बिना मीडियम के वॉटर वेव प्रोपोगेट नहीं हो सकती ठीक है अनदर एग्जाम्पल इज वेव प्रोड्यूस इन ऑसिलेटिंग स्प्रिंग हाँ जी जतिन बोलो यस जतिन मैम थोड़ी वीडियो ब्लर आ रही है इलास्टिक वेव्स की डेफिनेशन लिखी है द वेव दैट नीड मटीरियल मीडियम टू ट्रेवल थ्रू द वेव दैट नीड मटीरियल मीडियम टू ट्रेवल थ्रू दे कैन नॉट पास थ्रू वैक्यूम दे कैन नॉट पास थ्रू वैक्यूम तो जिनको मीडियम चाहिए होता है ट्रेवल करने के लिए उनको कहते हैं हम इलास्टिक वेव एग्जाम्पल साउंड वेव I told you they can propagate through all the three states of matter. They can propagate through solid, liquid, gas, all. And second example is water waves. Without water, water waves भी travel नहीं कर सकती. ठीक है medium चाहिए. Water is a medium. Third example आप लिख सकते हो waves produced in an oscillating spring. एक oscillating spring में जो waves produce हो रही हैं वो कौन सी waves हैं? वो भी elastic waves हैं क्योंकि spring चाहिए उनको medium चाहिए. Okay, is that fine? 